Hey, it's Monday, so it's time for Loco Lights on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. After completing the team portion of the season, it's time for high school wrestlers to get a little bit selfish and try to claim some individual accolades. And the Skeezer wrestlers were up first in the quest for gold, with the individual state championships on tap Saturday at Cardinal Newman in Columbia. All four loco area private schools that field wrestling teams claimed at least one medal, including the first year program at Patrick Henry Academy, which came out swinging with its first state champion in year one. Luke Sobey dominated the 165 pound bracket to bring home the gold and he's only a freshman, so the Patriots have a hammer to build around. John Paul II followed up its run to the state championship dual match with a strong showing as eight Golden Warriors claim medals, including runners up Daniel Snyder, Brian Orta, and Jack Hannigan, and fourth place finishers Jace Reynolds, Jude Witkowski, Brandon Horton, Chris Orta, and Renzo Cedeno. Colleton Preps Carter Sims placed third at 157, and Thomas Hayward's Giovanni Rodriguez was fourth at 126. The public school wrestlers continue their journey to the state finals at the lower state qualifiers on Saturday, and we'll fill you in on all the action on a new episode of the Loco Grind presented by Reverence Wrestling Club on Sunday night. And if we're crowning state champs, that means we're crossing over into a new season. And this time of year, that means the USCB Sandsharks are hitting the diamonds. The Sandsharks softball team kept rolling, racking up two more run rule wins and a sweep of Savannah State on Saturday. As Sierra Kinlaw tossed a five-inning no-hitter with five strikeouts and a 9-0 win in the opener, and Mariah Stevens blasted her third home run in a 10-1 route in Game 2. USCB is 7-1 and and averaging nearly 10 runs per game. The USCB baseball team took on a huge challenge over the weekend, traveling North Greenville for a three-game set with the number two team in NCAA Division II. The Crusaders took all three games, but Josh Patterson gave USCB another strong start in Game 1, and the Sandsharks fell just short in an 8-7 loss in Game 2. The Sandshark basketball teams will be back in the Cove on Wednesday, looking to turn things around after losing at Georgia Southwestern on Saturday. But first, we'll have high school hoop playoff action on Tuesday, including home games for the Bluffton girls and the Hampton County boys, who ran through their regions with undefeated records and have high hopes for the postseason. The Lady Bobcats ran their winning streak to 18 games with a 52-24 road win over May River, and the boys made it a sweep with a thrilling 39-37 win in the deep end, as Jamari Stewart Manning poured in 18 points to close out the season on a high note for the Bobcats. The girls from Hilton Head Christian Academy are hitting high gear as they prepare to make a run at the sixth consecutive state title, and Maya Hutchinson put on a show on senior night against John Paul II, collecting 24 points, 11 rebounds, 5 assists, and 6 steals, to lead the Eagles to a 49-35 win and another undefeated run through their region. The HHCA boys were fighting uphill for much of the night against a scrappy young JP2 team, but the Eagles rallied in the fourth quarter and pulled out a 56-45 victory behind 16 from senior Isaiah Anderson and 13 from freshman Ethan Foster, plus an emphatic exclamation mark slam from senior Elijah White in the final seconds. Patrick Henry's girls got 31 points from Lillian Lucas in a big win over Colleton Prep and former coach Melinda McCoy, while the boys completed the sweep to claim a share of the region title with Bethesda Academy. The Cross Schools girls blew out Thomas Hayward to finish perfect in their flex region, but the Rebels earned a split in the boys' contest, and Tony O'Banner became the latest of a rash of loco standouts to join the 1,000-point club, and he's only a sophomore, and football is his primary sport. You heard me. Join us for more local sports talk on the Loco Sports Lowdown at 10 p.m. tonight. We'll recap the weekend and set the stage for the basketball playoffs starting Tuesday. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco!